Spider starts going crazy. Like my Spider-Man boonie hat? <laughs> Alright, so the C922X from Logitech has background deletion as a function of it, but it doesn't really work well. I know a couple of people with it, nobody uses it really. They have mentioned all the problems that it has with proper background deletion, size, uh, blurriness on the sides, cutting off hair, cutting off your head, all sorts of stuff like that. Well, today we're going to talk about another background deletion utility. Stay with me. Okay, so it's always a big deal trying to get your background cut out. Sometimes green screens can be a big hassle. If you're a streamer, if you're making content, if you're just doing videos, anything like that, you have to deal with the green screen. You wanna deal with keying something out. It's kind of a hassle to set up. You have to have everything properly lit. You have to be really meticulous with it. And then it's gonna eat up a bunch of space as well. It's not gonna look good depending on how you have it set up. Well. XSplit has come out with a new utility. It's not free for everyone. I think that is their goal, but it's called VCam. And fortunately, VCam exists as a virtual webcam on your computer, meaning you can use it with any software. That includes OBS. You don't have to use the XSplit streaming software to, to take advantage of this. You can use it with Skype. You can use it with Hangouts. You can use it with Discord. You can use it with anything. And also, because it's a virtual webcam, you can use it with multiple things at the same time. So you can have Hangouts open, getting the feed from it. You can have Discord open, getting the feed from it. You can have OBS open, getting the feed from it. And it will still work because of how it is. So let's go over it real quick. All right, everyone. So here we are at my computer and I have OBS open as you can see. So to get XSplit VCam, just go to xsplit.com slash VCam and you'll see it here. This is the site, you download it, run the installer, and then you log in with your XSplit Premium account. If you wanted to just try it out, hit up uh, XSplit on Twitter. They're pretty good about giving out free keys for something if you just wanted to try it. Once you install it, log in with your XSplit account, it'll look a lot like this. Where's it at? It's right here. So here's how it looks like. Once, once it does its thing and it does its little initial setup, it's real quick, you select your webcam. That's right there, Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920. That's my webcam. I hit the, the cog and I get my configurations here where you can control zoom and uh, whatever other settings, exposure, gain, contrast, all that stuff. So that's that. And then you see here, there's a few things you can do. It says original background. That's just how it looks. This is exactly what I have. This sheet over here is actually sort of needed because uh, the way that the background deletion works is that it's looking for a contrast, at least from what I can tell, it's looking for contrast. For me, just a bright background will, will, will take care of it. This side, obviously, it's not that dark, so it didn't have too many issues. This side is where it was black on black because it's just a black curtain there. You can sort of see it right there. That's a black curtain. So I hung up a white sheet, lit it with a little sp uh, spotlight right here. And this little light actually helps out the most when it comes to getting this lit well enough to not have any issues. So let me show you what, how it looks. Okay, so some of the features here, filter, you can do re remove background and there it goes. So you can see it flickering a little bit. That's where it's struggling just a tad, but look at that. Overall, that's pretty freaking good. Like that almost looks as good. That looks as pretty much as good as a, a probably not that well lit uh, green screen because even a badly lit green screen is going to give you a little bit of issues. It'll ha still have it little like uh, shadows, green looking shadows along the edges. And this overall is pretty good. What I find interesting <laughs> is that it keys out my microphone. I have my microphone sitting in front of me right there. Like look at that. And so boom, microphone gone. I actually like having my microphone in frame, but you know, whatever works. This is a interesting utility. So there is also a replace background feature. As you can see here, I have one set up as my uh, my screen wallpaper so it matches. And uh, that's actually kind of cool because if you have something that's as unexciting as that, this is way cooler. And uh, also too, if you want to just see how it looks original compared to how it looks when you make your adjustments, just click in the window and boom, there you see it. And that's what I'm dealing with right there. And uh, so you can also have this background blur 
and that is going to give a sort of faux bokeh effect so uh look that looks kind of cool right but at the same time too you can just blur your normal background if there's a background that you don't like there's stuff back there that you don't like and you're not so sure about it you can just use the background blur to sort of hide it all and there's a limit to where it starts to look worse but like 20 is good like if you go way over here it's just a blob look at it. it's just a gray blob eh, whatever but if you're over here it's it, it looks like actual blurred background and so i can always do this so i'm going to go to the filter go to original background and then crank up the blur and uh let's crank it up a little more and there you go now you can't really tell what's behind me and it overall still works pretty good look my hands are still tracked and they're mostly in front of me and that's doing fine there's not blurring my hands very much my head is decently in there it's not really affecting the edges maybe a little bit over here but that's really not that bad and uh, a lot of the issues will be minimized when you put your webcam in a small box in the corner so there's that let me go turn the blur back off i'm going to show you guys again remove background and while this sort of demonstrates how to look because this is a virtual web camera you're also able to use this in anything that wants to use a webcam it doesn't have to be the expert software you can use it in obs so let me show you something real quick on the how it powers this so if you go into settings here you have hardware acceleration you it's okay to leave it on automatic you're it's smart enough to understand what's going to uh, what's going to be better utilized for this CPU implementation. Though I can tell you right now, it is a bit CPU intensive to 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 do it this way. So you may end up losing some frame rate in your games if you do that. So if you have a compatible graphics card, I have my 980 Ti in here. Select that, and you will be better off because this most likely leverages the NVENC chip on the graphics card, which means it will minimally to none impact. It'll have very, very little impact on your FPS as opposed to CPU, CPU implementation, in which case if you run into CPU intensive games and you're borrowing CPU usage to run this utility, you will be in trouble. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the 980 Ti. Quality controls here as, as well. This will sort of signify how hard it hits. And uh, since I'm using my graphics cards, I'm just gonna put it at the highest because that chip has enough to spare, sure. There is the um, chair removal, which is a nice additional option, but you're really gonna have to crank up your lighting really well in order to make sure that that is as good as, a, as it can get, because if you remove your chair, it introduces a lot more issues. Like, that's cool, look at that. That's honestly amazing that it could remove my chair, but it only really works well if you're just sitting there very still, but it's struggling a lot more, as you can see. And if I pick my hands up, Look at that. It, it looks like it's phasing in and out behind me. And uh, it just introduces more issues. Don't worry about your chair. Leave that option ticked off, at least for the time being, until it gets further refined. This is early access software at the moment. You don't want to hit the X on this software. Just minimize it. And we're going to go over to OBS and show you how that looks. Here's OBS. And look at how awesome that is with the background deletion. That is honestly amazing i'm gonna move this over here that is great look i'm over here in the corner and it's i'm moving around and uh look at that it's for the most part that is really great for just having lights up i don't have a green screen up i didn't have to deal with that hassle all i have is lights and a well-lit area and you're set there look at that uh i can go over to let's say i have a talking screen here that i made an adjustment once the overlays load there you go that's how that looks and uh, again, I could always throw in whatever background I want. I could do that. Matches the background of the box. That's why it doesn't look all that different. And again, that's how it looked originally. Or I can crank the blur. Oh, see? That blur really does help hide background stuff like that. Or you know what? I'm going to stick with remove background. Because ultimately, this is the coolest feature of this. So just, just to show you guys that this can be used in any software. Here I am on an online webcam test. And I've, I've made those same adjustments here. Look, original background, blurred. Replace background, blurred. Turn the blur down. And then remove background. There it is. So this will show you that it can work in Hangouts in the browser. It can work with Skype. It could work with all that stuff. And it doesn't have to be just XSplit. As you can see, here I am in OBS with this. This is honestly a super super nifty tool i gotta say so this works incredibly solid for the kind of tool that it is so 
This is a side where there's a bit more shadow on how to deal with, and that's why putting the sheet up helped, because if I keep my hand out of there, it's fine. It doesn't even look like there's much of an issue there. But, um, yeah, like my mic like I said about my microphone, my microphone is right here, and that's why it's struggling, because it's trying to key it out. As long as I stay away from it, yeah, it's fine. But, uh, but, yes, it's important to have a background that is different color than what you're wearing, because it, it will more e easily be able to distinguish what to cut out and what to keep in. And that's VCam. Right now it's only open to premium XSplit users, so you do sort of have to pay in order to get access to it. It is an early access right now, um, and it's definitely a useful utility. But just like with the green screen, you do have to have a properly lit setup. You can't be matching the colors of your background because then it makes it difficult for the software to understand where the edges are. So you just have to have a contrasted look. For me, because I like wearing black shirts, I need to have a bright background. And so the background needs to be well lit still because anything with the shadow behind you is gonna cause possibly a little bit of an issue. So if you wanna maximize the effectiveness of the software, you still want a properly lit setup. But a properly lit setup is still an easier thing to do than to have to set up a whole green screen and just basically cordon off a whole corner of your setup and then have to deal with taking it up or taking it down, putting it up and all that stuff repeatedly. Just have some good some good lighting all over, maybe a few spotlights. Uh, I'll have some stuff like that linked in the description below if you want because there's a little floodlight that I like that ended up working out very well for this. So VCam really great it's awesome that it works with any camera i'm sure that this would work even better with a hdmi captured camera like a, my panasonic g7 or however you capture it through a capture card this is a really useful utility to be honest and I, i'm probably gonna be using it for a few streams until my trial expires and then i guess we'll see after that if i like it enough to keep on going with it because i believe x split, x split monthly is like maybe like five bucks a month something like that so there'll be more information linked in the description below as well as all our socials make sure you follow us on on all of that discord twitter instagram facebook we have it all and uh, drop a comment let's talk about this stop by one of our streams we do them every thursday at 8 p.m and I guess the next few streams will be featuring this utility, so you can ask me about that as well. We'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. So blur your background so like if you have a ugly looking background like this just move the slider up blurred